If you clicked on this video, chances are you have heard of Artlist and maybe even went to artlist.io to subscribe and then you saw all the options and you got overwhelmed and you thought, uh, which plan should I choose? I'm gonna try to help you walk through my thought process and which plan that I recommend for most people and then kind of what I'm using and why I'm actually using that. So if you head over to artlist.io and you find yourself at the pricing section of, of Artlist to figure out which plan to choose from, you're greeted with a couple of different tabs up at the top and then under those tabs, you have a couple of different options to choose from. So you have bundles, which is Artlist Max, which kind of covers everything to the right of those, all those tabs. Then you have music and sound effects, and then you have footage and templates. Now, for the sake of this video, and I think a lot of us are going to be in a similar boat that you're probably not gonna be just going for footage and templates. I think that's a very, very select group of, of folks that are going for that subscription. But if you are looking for stock footage, chances are you might wanna have music and sound effects as well. So that's why I'm gonna focus on the Artless Max bundle and the music and sound effects bundle because you may not want any footage at all so you can get music and sound effects. So you got all, the, all three of those. We're gonna focus on the first two, which is Artless Max and music and sound effects. Now starting out with music and sound effects, you get just that, you get the music and sound effects, which Side note, the music and sound effects with Artlist is super good and the user UI is really easy and everything is super easy to find and navigate and search, all the good stuff. But I'm here to talk about the plan, so let's get back on track. So music and sound effects, you have a couple of different options to choose from. So if you just want music and sound effects, you don't want any footage, you don't want any templates, you don't need any of that stuff, you just need music and sound effects, then this is the section for you. Now you have either the social plan, you have a pro plan, you have a teams plan, and then an enterprise plan. If you're an enterprise, like greater than 100 employees or, or something, just reach out to Artlist and they'll get you squared away and they'll get you all set up. Now, back from the enterprise, you have the teams plan. So if you're like, a, I think it's two to seven people on your team, then this will be the plan to choose from. But I think the majority of those watching this video are like me, just a solo creator here on YouTube and also do freelance work as well. A lot of one man band operations and kind of productions end to end doing the editing. So if you fall into one of those two buckets or maybe both buckets, then um, the first two plans are probably what you're gonna be looking at. You're gonna be looking at the creator plan or the pro plan. So which one should you choose? In my opinion, I think it's worth paying the extra money for the music and sound effects pro plan simply because that license covers you for any project no matter what. And the reason why I say that is even if you just plan on doing content creation for some social media platform, you never know if a brand reaches out to you or somebody reaches out to you, they see your YouTube channel, they're like, ooh, I really like their editing style or whatever, and they hire you. Well that social plan isn't going to cover any kind of commercial use or anything like that. So if you can swing it, I highly recommend you going for the pro plan over the social plan, just so that all your bases are covered. Now, just like the music and sound effects plans, the Artlist Max social plan is more affordable than the pro plan, but the pro plan gives you a little bit more in terms of flexibility, more options, and your license coverage for not just personal projects, but commercial projects as well. So with the social plan, if you just need it for your social media platform, then you can go for that. But again, I highly recommend you considering upgrading and paying that extra $10 a month for the pro plan because of that license. And that license coverage in and of itself is worth the upgrade just so that you know you're covered and you can pick up a random project throughout the year if you want to. But there are also some perks with the pro plan that you kind of miss out on with the social plan. First of all, footage, you can get up to 8K resolution. It's kind of becoming more common for 4K deliverables. Like I upload all of my videos to 4k resolution uh, to YouTube so being limited to just 
HD resolution for the social plan seems kind of, kind of limiting to me. I wanna be able to match the resolution of my timeline. So for that, having the pro plan really opens up more doors from the stock footage perspective. Cause I use stock footage quite a lot for both like YouTube and just like for client work as well, just for quick inserts for like a time-lapse or a drone shot or something like that. It's just super convenient to be able to grab a drone shot from the desert in Africa as opposed to flying all the way to get my own drone shot. It would be definitely an adventure, but certainly not cost effective. And then speaking on the footage you actually have with the Pro Plan, the option to upgrade to raw or log footage. And this is even more beneficial if you're working on a project with say RE footage or uh, RED footage and R3D codec or something, and you really wanna find some B-roll for some inserts and stuff to be able to put into your project. And you wanna have the same color gamut and the same color science well, being able to get that raw and lock footage allows you to incorporate that footage seamlessly and make it feel like it was all shot on the same production and it really integrates seamlessly as opposed to just being limited to the already pre-color graded footage that you get with the, the non-upgraded version of the Pro Plan. Now, is it worth paying that $240 a year extra to get that raw and log footage? Well, I think that entirely just depends on your needs and if you wanna have that extra flexibility in post-production to match to other cameras for whatever you use on your production. For me, I shoot a lot on RED cameras and I like the ability to kind of seamlessly integrate the stock footage, whether it's a time-lapse or some other insert and just match it seamlessly to the grade that I'm using. I like that flexibility, but you may not need that. And if, and if you're just focusing on maybe having a quick time-lapse or, or something or a quick drone shot in, in maybe a YouTube video or something, you don't really care about color grading all that much, then don't, don't spend the extra money. Just save the money and put that towards something else or just put it in savings. But the other thing is, if you want the practice of color grading and you wanna to get to learn how the color science of different cameras work and, and wanna have, you know, you wanna start playing around with raw footage, then it may be worth spending that extra $240 to get familiar with color grading different cameras and all that kind of stuff. So it's just totally up to you whether you think that upgrade is worth it or not. Now, the one upgrade that I do think is worth is going for the pro plan over the social plan. No matter if you're just going for music and sound effects or if you're going with Artless Max, I think it's personally worth upgrading and paying that little extra money just for the peace of mind knowing that your license covers you no matter what project you're working on. And if you go with the Artless Max, you get those other fun things like 8K resolution, up to 8K resolution if the camera supported it, and all those other bells and whistles. So for me personally, I use the Max Pro plan. I think it's very worth the investment and I use it on pretty much every single project that I have worked on over the last five years or so or whenever I started using Artlist. And now that it's all bundled together, it makes it even nicer and more convenient for my productions and it saves me time to be able to find everything that I need for my projects. Well, I hope you found this somewhat helpful and gave you a little bit more clarity. I highly recommend Artlist. I think it's probably the best platform out there for licensing footage, sound effects, music, all that stuff. You know the deal. You've, you've seen the sponsored ads and all that. But honestly, I truly stand behind Artless. I really think it is the best out there. So that said, I'm gonna wrap this up. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know down in the comments below. If you do wanna go and sign up, maybe use the link down in the description below. It helps me out and you get two free months. So uh, you also get a benefit there. So anyways, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.